Hello everyone. So in today's class, what we're going to do is that we are going to start with our uh, first service, our first API, which is basically going to take to receive the detections. And that's it. It's going to receive the detections and we're going to do the integration between the API and the client itself. Okay, that's the plan for, for, this, for, this, for, this, for this video. And next one, we are going to do the logic in the API uh, in order to really detect if this, if this, um, what do I say, if this detection should generate a fine for the driver or not. Okay, that's the first feature we are going to implement. Today, we are just going to focus on the API uh, creation to serve the application itself. And the integration between them, or maybe just the creation of the service. Let's see how, how long it's going to take. So, so let's let's first go to the Spring Initializer. <coughs> let's go again and create it. Uh, the same here. Let's call it um, Detector API. Java twenty one. As dependency, let's say for now, let's not go into any security right now. Let's just have, uh, let's also add the Chrome VM the UT support. Okay, so we don't need it, but let's just have it for now. Uh, no database, nothing, and that's it. Let's generate detector API. Let's go move to here. Also, the detector API here. Let's move to here. Then I have the API. Let's now go to the to the your IDE, open open the project, workspace, course detector API. Okay. So For that now, for, for this uh, API right now, I'm not going to use uh, the, the reactor uh, or the, the reactive approach uh, because I think I would need to have some classes for to introduce the whole idea of before uh, before we do it. So let's do this with Spring MVC. In fact, I forgot to add Spring MVC. Let me just edit that here. So Spring, Spring let, let me get what's the name of the Maven Spring uh, Boot. MVC or web, I think Spring Web is the, it's called on the on the Spring Boot, Spring Boot to starter web, that's it. So let's come here and add the dependency. We don't need to use the the set the version because we are already using the the bone uh, bone uh, thing. So like it's already like taking the, the the version of the the, the spring the spring management itself it's basically adding the, the version for us so we don't need that here so adding by adding the version here and also the spring dependency management is already kind of implicitly adding the, the identifiers for us so we don't need to do it um now i mentioned the bomb because like there's also another way for you especially on the maven which you create like a, a bomb uh, dependency which has the definition of all the versions of the dependency which you may have to, which you have to use but that's just, uh, that's basically working the same not the same way but they, they, they fit the same purpose uh, okay so now we have already the the web application let's first create a dummy uh, not a dummy but let's create our first uh, so our endpoint so I will say uh, in fact, it, I call detector API, but I would like to call it detection API, but that's fine. Uh, let's call it controllers, controller dot detection controller. First, we have the rest controller itself. Then we are going to define our uh, endpoint. So it's going to be a public of response, or we can do it as like I prefer to be like to, to write more specifically, but we can also make it simpler. Uh, reg register or save register uh, detection. So what we are going to do, I'm going to create a definition for the request and then for the response. So I will have uh, contracts. Inside contracts, I will have detection um, re 
registration class. In fact, it should be a record. So what are registration uh, detection registration is going to have is first it will have the UUID of the registration itself of the detection itself. Uh, it's going to have the lane and on the lane ID we need the equipment ID. So we can have the equipment equipment ID. So we need to know the equipment, the detection ID. We need to know the speed. So double speed and yeah, and that's it for now. So uh, we start with this detection registration. Then we are going to receive that here. So we say it was request body is going to be this. And for the, for the response, we are going to have uh, in fact, we don't need to have anything. Uh, we are we don't need to do anything like like the the detector won't expect anything. We just need to res to respond with a uh, created response. So response status we can say here HTTP status uh, created and that's it. So for now, what we are going to do is we are going to print the registration itself. And let's run our application. Oh, okay, yeah, so but as a, as a get, it should be a post. Let me go to the controller. I'm going to change this here and say it's a post. Uh, wait. Now I bug myself, so post mapping. Yeah, that's it. Let's restart. And now, uh, so as soon as our application is running, you can see that's running on port 8080. So if we go to here, 8080, can make it. So if I go and say, hey, curl x post to this I also didn't add a, a, a path for that so it should just do it and um, I forgot how to use it so curl post json <coughs> mm -hmm. so yeah we add the header and we add the date itself so post Header and then we do the data. Data, then we say, for example, in fact, let me do that. Oops. Single quote. Then we say, for example, what we need again, we need the ID. Let's just pass an empty, empty uh, JSON. Verbals. So it's returning this because it's not doing the validation of our request body so let's do it as valid validated i don't think that's the one need to check uh, valid i don't think this is the one we have to use let me to confirm because i think we have like valid thing from the from the yeah let's let's check this on another class i will take a look so that's it. At least we are receiving it. Uh, we are just not logging anything where we are logging empty. Let me check. That's why we are logging. Yeah, it's log. It's basically getting the, the default thing. That's fine. Not, let's not care about it right now. Let's go through our to our application itself and let's create the client for that. So when you go to our detector, what we are doing right now is we are basically um, where we have it, the starter. No. We have this create a starter, then we create the fake detector, and we receive the, pro the processor from the creation itself. So that's what where we are doing. By the way, we need to refactor this code later, but for now, let's just stick with me and let's just make the code here right now. Um, so 
let me recap when we, we are we are using spring we have like a default we can have like a default implementation of uh, http client so http client let's oh yeah let's clean spring client there there are some options for us we, let's see which one we are going to use i think the web client but i think web clients reactive yeah rest client that's the one okay so let's get a rest client here for us to use um, rest client no that's not what we want wait rest client we can use the http client from java as well right so http client all right and then we can check for another option later okay so http client um, what i'm going to do i'm going to do it simpler so here i'm going to receive the http client i will create another a definition for our HTTP client here public HTTP client HTTP client here I'm going to return HTTP client dot builder or new HTTP client let's see what which options we have do we have something for um, root URL no we don't so let's just HTTP new HTTP client and that's it so here what we are going to do is client uh, then we have we don't have a get we have a send then we have the request http request http request dot new builder and then we press here http localhost 8080 here it expects what a u r i so let's do a, a i dot create the new builder then what else we do a post uh, body publishers i guess we have something like um, let's make it very simple right now that i have to check how to do it from json so let's make it something really simple um, So we need to provide the ID, equipment ID, and the speed, right? ID, equipment ID, and speed. Okay, so ID, equipment ID, and speed. Okay, so uh, let's provide that here let's say it's fixed right now so let me generate that the one that we already have one uuid here that's the version the uuid for the equipment id so let's provide it here just as a fake just for us to validate everything's working fine equipment id the same and speed we are going to do a 90. so we have this here let me see if when we do a post it still has the builder and then we do a build we have here now the request and now we can send the request and uh, wait send request and body handler body handlers dot <coughs> it's card i don't i don't care about this so what is happening here right now? It's like an exception. Wait, I don't want to do this. Wait, this is for the, yeah, we need to do it. <coughs> Fine. And this is going to return a what? A HTTP response. We don't care about the HTTP response right now. I just want to see if this is integrating properly. Let's run the application. And then let's go to our uh, API and see if this is working fine. So first, let's see here. Nothing is breaking. Let's go to our application here. And yes, you, if you can see here, the logs, we are basically, uh -huh, okay, no, it's not working. So it's complaining that the content type is not what we're expecting of that string. So let's stop that here and let's change it. So we need also to add the content type probably or header 
content type, we say application JSON. Now let's run it again. Let's clean it up here. Now everything's working fine. So we see that we are receiving the data. So uh, that's what we wanted, okay? Two things, we generated a lot of uh, tech debt here, for sure. First, one of them is that we are doing like the JSON itself manually. We have to use, we most probably have to use some kind of body publisher where it already automatically recognize and know how to work with JSON. Uh, so that's the first thing. Second thing, uh, so on, on, the, on the application itself, on the, on the desktop or the embedded one, that's one of the problems. Second problem is we are not caring much about the exceptions itself. We're not working properly with them. That's the second thing we have to fix. And the third thing is we are doing validation on the API, which is bad. We need to do the validation. These are the most serious things that we have to fix and we are going to work on the end of the next class. Um, apart from that, we also don't have any test. We are also going to do some testing for this. Uh, we are going to create like a mock for the, API, for the API itself and to understand how we are going to behave, how our clients are going to behave on different scenarios. That's what we are going to do on the next classes. But that's it. I uh, hope you liked it and see you in the next class. Bye-bye.